Hi, my name is Lacey Bailey, and this is my story of freedom. All right, so I was raised in a Christian home. Um, I accepted Christ at the age of eight, and I truly believe that I, I did accept Christ. I knew what it meant, um, but shortly after that, I know that I, I had to have backslid. I, I didn't really believe. My life didn't show what I had first believed. Um, at the ages of 10 through 14, I experienced abuse, um, both emotionally and sexually, and it was a very, it was a very hard time for me. Um, people sometimes don't understand the pain that it can cause, and that it's not just, it's not something that you just forgive right away, and that it takes several years to forgive. Um, I remember going into grade school and even high school not having any friends because I had isolated myself. I didn't trust anyone. Um, and with this deep and emotional pain that I just, I didn't know what to do with, I didn't know how to release it, so I started cutting myself. Um, for anybody who knows cutting, you start and it works, but then afterwards it doesn't work anymore. Um, the pain is just deeper, and so you have to cut deeper, which is a huge risk. Um, I, I mean, I cut all the way from grade school all the way to college. Um, when I did graduate high school, I decided that I was going to reinvent my life. I didn't want to be the person that I had been before. I didn't want any of that baggage. And so I created a new identity, and I became a main leader on campus for the Christian organizations. I became someone who was a fixer of people, um, but yet I couldn't fix myself. About my sophomore year, I decided that I had had enough. Um, all these people would come up to me thinking that they know me, and it just hit me that nobody knows me. I don't, nobody knows any of my story. Um, and so I decided I had had enough, and I went to the Dominican Republic to study for my junior year. Um, I had no intention of going back to my original college. Um, but I remember while I was in the DR, God completely changed my life. I didn't have anybody there, and no one spoke English. Um, and so I was, I was completely alone. I was, again, isolated, but the only difference this time was that God was there and God pursued me and He completely changed my life um, and just let me know that He loved me and that all of that baggage that I had, I don't have to, I don't have to let that define me. Um, I am freed from that baggage even though the memories might still be there, the hurt is there, but it's not something that has to define my life. And so when I went to the DR, of course, I, I met a guy and I fell in love. Um, and I believe I backslid, I backslid again. Um, I had fallen in love with God and completely, or thought I completely sold out to him. But then after I met this guy, I, I fell in love with him and he took God's place in my heart. Um, we dated for a year and a half, and then we got engaged. Um, and then come this, this past March, I, I knew something was wrong. My heart was telling me something, something was wrong. Um, and so we ended that relationship, and I was broken. And through that, God again called me. And this time, I, I truly understood what God was calling me to. Um, he freed me from all of my baggage, everything that had happened in the past, so that I could help somebody in the future. Um, there are so many people out there who deal with, with sexual abuse, with emotional abuse, um, even as children, which is so sad. But I believe that that is what God has in store for me. So that's my story.